lot more people than we expected to have. Yeah, like, I was expecting two people. What? It's 3 o'clock in the morning on the last day. But hey, who, who, who here likes some metal gear? Who likes this thing? Before 
Street Fighter 1, you know the one with the mouth, who's like, all over the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one. Oh, yeah. Dude, this game's a weird game. Like, if you, like, you can't get the good ending unless you never pause the game. Uh, yeah, it's just like the, the family princess dies. It, yeah, it's, 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 bad. it's bizarre. Um, <laughs> um, and, and just a little trivia, you could, uh, you could hear Sunny playing and just sort of what I guess you hear to do. You better hear who playing in an MDS4 in the game? Sunny. 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 Like every, one of those long, very bad where you actually have to a video game. Um, yeah. yeah. But, uh, well, you know, it wouldn't always be Penguin Adventure for Hideo Kojima. Oh, he actually got in charge of his own project. Yeah, it was a project called N313, uh, which was a man who actually made the supposed to be stylized uh, out of Commando. Unfortunately, he was assigned to the MSX division, which is still more on like the lower games. Yeah. And, and, and the MSX. But I had only three strikes at a time before everything started flipping. I mean, you know, this is a lot of old Nintendo. Double dragon, plus, it's just free yeah. yeah. So, what do you do with the limitations of only a couple people on the screen and not hordes and hordes of enemies? You basically watch the greatest escape and then you think of a game based on escape. Escape from New York. And also Robocop. Metal uh, drop. But yeah, Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Metal Gear is already story. Uh, already explained it. Um, it came out in uh, July 1987, so let's, let's have a half birthday pot for Metal Gear. Uh, the story is basically uh, Snake, as a rookie soldier, is sent in the by Fox Sound to see what happened to Ray Fox and uh, destroy the destroy the. Everyone, I think everyone here likely knows the story. Yeah, Metal Gear One. Okay. okay, all right. I'll just go with those. And one of the designers, who was in an old hardcore game, one one, he basically said, "He focused on the gameplay, but you see how brutal it is. It's like uh, I just die and get missing by." <laughs> Of this besides news for that, which is a prayer for his theme. But, uh, but yeah, now, uh, you know, he did Metal Gear, that was a fun thing, time to move on, never Metal Gear again, let's try something new. I'm sure you never have to deal with it again. So, uh, I keep, why you just decided to watch some Blade Runner? <laughs> yeah, just decided to watch some, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, it's called La Run. Yeah, the right. That was more. And uh, the Snatcher. Yeah, Snatcher. Um, Snatcher came out in 1988, originally for the MSX2 and um, in the PC88. It was its graphic adventure with some light gun elements. He played as William C., who's a. Who's a. Wait, I was going to say. Wait, 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 who is basically eliminates the snack grapple I mean snatchers uh, to to uh, yeah uh, which which he finds out a conspiracy of the uh, the global domination basically gonna re replace or leave like he he yeah. a sort of snatch for whenever he sees somebody that's has been already uh, yeah. infiltrated. Um I, I love how games back then didn't get the single care about copyright. Yeah, you just see there you can see Mr. Steel more. <laughs> have a have a drink at the at the strip club. Yeah, Dr. Right. Sayus. Dr. Sayus, uh Sayus, um and Guyver, which uh they later played in live action, by the way. Oh, yeah, Guyver, yeah. And Guyver yeah. 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 too. Guyver too is our hero. Yeah. Not not my Mark Hamill first. Uh and then they had to replace it in the mega scene version with like the mommy characters. Like, yeah, like, uh, 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 Rocket Knight, Posture Man. Yeah, there's Rocket Knight in the corner. Yeah. And Dracula and yeah. Victor and Victor. Yeah. 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 And as you can see from the bottom of it, very, you know, loosely inspired by Blade. Yeah. Loosely. I don't know, man. I can't tell the difference between Harrison Ford and uh, Billy Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah.
guys. But uh, that was, uh, but you know, you know, Snatcher was fun. Well, what would be the next project after that? He's not a role. I don't know, man. There was this game called Snake's Revenge, um, and uh, the guy on the train basically meant uh, walk into it. This is a apocryphal story, so we don't know if you're or not. But uh, who here knows about Snake's Revenge? Okay, cool. For everyone else, uh, the NES version of Metal Gear 1 is not the MSX version of Metal Gear 1. It doesn't even have a Metal Gear in it. That was because of like wrong machines and these But it's the name of the game. Uh, anyway, so they made a second Metal Gear, like, just entirely on their own, like the American side, called uh, Snake's Revenge. And yeah, which is um, which? The, one of the um, that team was about the train. And he basically said, "I want to be train man. Can you see people? Because I want to do who made the train sequel at Oakridge." And he thought of the idea of the train, created a design bot, got some RP, and got it. Really. Metal Gear Two, Solid Snake, and this is where you know all the pros of the Metal Gear series come, like going to a lady's bathroom. Um, a guy telling you there's mines in uh, a quiet area. Uh, four invisible ninjas attacking you in an elevator. Yeah, or yeah, or something. It's um, going up an endless tower. Going up an endless tower. Uh, a ninja. It's a, a ninja that's a previous character from the previous game uh, fighting you. Yeah, in an office room, and, and Rax eating something. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very. It, there's a lot of familiar yeah. elements. Yeah. Um, but the uh, and, and yeah, and, and then but you know after that he did make the true sequel and then it's, and then he was like cool that's good you're never gonna make another Metal Gear ever again. <laughs> also also like they lost with Sean Connery that yeah. like, like, well everyone looked like something like like uh, Mel Gibson was Snake. Oh, Snake. Tom Berger from Platoon was Gray Fox. Yeah, and Albert Einstein was Elijah Van Art, the scientist who created Metal Yeah, it's, <laughs> it, it's kind of hilarious. Yeah, they had to change it for the courts. Um, yeah, they just basically got Shin Collins. And Shin Collins was a middle aged Japanese man. Yeah, who apparently was based on like the Japanese drill and stuff that they used to tackle with bikes. This is before uh, all the sudden point. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Um, but he's done, so what, what is his next project? Back back to um, the uh, his uh, true love, apparently, of uh, point and click adventure games and, and themes. This, uh, this is like his uh, passion. Is, yeah. Yeah, it's sort of like playing cash, but the ball is the themes I want the audience to receive. Police nuts. Yeah, and it stars Danny Glover and you know, it, I mean, Duncan Ingram and Ed Brown. Um, at least a lot of roles around uh, Jonathan getting frozen in space. Uh, a lot of, a lot of cyberpunk. Yeah, so it, it is a distinctly cyberpunk thing. It is also the only computer game that's never officially been localized. That's correct. Um, it's only been fan translated. For uh, the fan, for the fan translation, yeah. Um, yeah. Where could someone find that fan translation if they wanted to play this actually really cool game? Yeah, you could go to Police Stuff's Net and uh, or you just you know, there's there's some places that happen. Let's not make it safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you can find it. You're smart. You guys can work your way around the. But uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, it, this is where some of the most like pronounced Kojimaisms really begin to come through because it is a game where uh, there is no barrier on how much text Kojima can bombard you with. Uh, so it's like, hey, do you, you want to you want to know how this like. A uh, special zero G space couch works in yeah. a space station. Yeah, and, and here's like four paragraphs of it. Yeah, and how like you know, chats you know just like yeah. all in space. Uh, it just gets that. It gets that deep. Yeah. Do you do, do you want do you want to hear about how they have sex in space? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll hear you'll hear explanations of that. It is a very well thought out hard sci-fi. Very hard sci-fi. And um, fan translation is fun. Yeah, he, he, he does a good job. Yeah. Um, however, uh, 
but then there was this newfangled uh, console that was going to be coming out. Yeah, it was the what was it called again? The Super Nintendo, please. I mean, it was. <laughs> yeah, that, that's an entire other story of how the Super Nintendo PlayStation happened. But um, so there's going to be the PS One, this newfangled 3D, uh, like 3D game, 3D console that you need a game for. That you yeah, yeah, I mean, that yeah, yeah, it's because uh, that game was going to be on the video and that was kind of a dud. So yeah. they decided to go over to some of these consoles because it's fun. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it's 3D, and, you know, for some reason, you know, 3D things just seem more, what's the word, uh, solid? Yeah, solid. And it's also a jab at square because it's like the dimension. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Metal yourself. So. I'm going to take a guess here, like, raise your hand if you've played any of one. Yeah, that sounds all right. Um, yeah, now, because we don't need to cover as much of the history of it, uh, we do have a bunch of fun little tidbits about, like, the localization yeah. and uh, other things that you may not know about making but Yeah, and the guy who did the translation, um, he has a great Polycon article for a he wrote. His name's Jeremy Boss. Um, he worked on a lot of phenomenal games like Sympathy to Night, Silent Hill 2, which is which Blooper Team's part in a butcher. Uh, he got inspiration from um, Navy Seal Mountain by Big Marcinko, and he had played Road Warrior. Oh, oh the, the, the classic uh, Mickey Rourke vehicle Road Warrior? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, for, the, for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have that in my spec. Yeah. yeah, okay. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, we are going to be doing trivia at the end of this, uh, for prizes, so, so yeah. perhaps, perhaps, and, um, the next, but, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah. but a lot of localization, localization is what made this game, like, able to be available, because it was one of the first games yeah. really solid, uh, like, voice acting and writing, that wasn't like, die, monster! You don't belong in this world. Like, that, that was more on the voice direction because it was like it was like recorded a bad song or something. Yeah. 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 Or, or Resident Evil, like, no, don't open that door. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, and uh, any comparison, even though you have like cheesy lines, they still work. They still work correct. Well, and uh, I'm going to show you an example of the type. Oh, I don't know how to Like on the box and everything like that. 
you know, like yeah. like EA games, they used to have names of like people who made them, and yeah, yeah. Like, like right there. What, what do those names say right there? Because no one can read it on that screen. 